morning guys i hope everyone is good uh it is friday so good morning did i say good morning i think i did but it's uh 11 o'clock i just came back from yoga which i did it guys and you're probably like what did you do well i went to yoga five days this week and that was my goal so i feel really good that I committed to something and I finished it. Now, I'm not gonna lie, it was hard because my body was hurting, I was tired, and I was like, I ain't gonna do this. I can't do no more yoga, I need a break. But I did it. Now, people are probably like, Charlene, yoga? Really? How can you be tired from that? Ha! Huh. So, number one. The yoga I go to is hot yoga. So um, I think today the, it was like the temperature in the room was like 85 degrees. Um, I have done classes where it's 102 degrees and then humidity is about, I think the lowest is like 30%, but obviously when you have a lot of people in there, it goes up a lot. Um, I wear my Fitbit, this thing, um, and um, arguments about whether or not Fitbit is accurate or not, you know, that's a whole nother story. But um, some of my classes, uh, I've burned up to over, actually, I've burned over 500 calories. Um, the most I think I've burned in a class is like 533 calories. And those range from 60 minutes to 75 minutes. Um, today was, I think I burned like over 300. So, you know, for me, Ooh, pardon me. For me, um, it's just, it makes me feel good knowing that I'm, just to see numbers, um, if that makes sense. So, but anyway, I'm feeling good. Um, and another reason why going to yoga five days a week is, it was difficult for me is because um, I had to try new classes. And if, hmm, let's see. I suffer from anxiety. So trying new things, go putting myself in uncomfortable situations, meeting new people, doing new things. Obviously, I think I just said that. It's difficult. Um, you have to battle yourself, try to get into a different mentality. It's, it's just very difficult. But I did it. Yay me. Um, not gonna lie, it was, like I said, it was very difficult with anxiety, but I did it. So, like I said, it is Friday. Friday, Friday. Yeah. And um, today, the kids have swimming, but right now, um, I'm gonna make myself some food. So, this is my technically my first meal, like actual food. Um, I take a, I don't know if it's not a pre-workout, but a fat burner. <laughs> This is gonna work. I take a fat burner um, for yoga class. I don't have my tripod, sorry guys. So I take a fat, <laughs> there you go. So I take a fat burner um, in the morning on an empty stomach. Uh, I think you guys have seen it before. Let me go get it. So, let me see here. This is the one I take. Uh, I've shown it before in another vlog. This is EHP Labs Oxy Shred in pink grapefruit. Um, I have, because it's hot yoga um, and I go in the mornings, it's, I don't want to eat before I go um, because even a little bit of food makes me nauseous, especially in that heat. So uh, I tried doing it fasted and I just noticed that you know, towards the end of the workouts or towards the end of yoga, I was just, I was tired. I was drained. It just was not working for me. But I have done taking this, this fat burner, because it does have caffeine in it. Um, I've taken this, I think I want to say like three times this week. And whoa, there's a huge difference. As you can tell, there's a huge difference right now too. I'm like, I'm awake and Side note, I have tried coffee beforehand, but I'm not a fan of like 
black coffee um, because I don't want to have milk or I have soy milk or almond milk, but I don't want to have milk before a workout and I'm not a fan of just sweetened black coffee. Um, so this has actually helped a lot. So yeah, but now I need to eat. All right, I've made my lunch. Sorry guys, I have Giada in the background, <laughs> but food. I just made a sandwich um, with some lettuce. Right here um, is chicken, but it's garden chicken, so it's not real chicken. Um, gotta say it's not my favorite. Sorry, garden, but um, yeah. Uh, I put some cucumbers, tomato, and onions in there as well. I only have white bread for right now, so. I'm gonna eat this and then I'll, yeah, see you in a bit. Hey guys, so it is Saturday and it's actually pretty late, 6.30 in the evening. Pretty Obviously late. it's getting dark. Well, I didn't vlog this morning. I'm starting to vlog late, I'm sorry. So, um, what do we do today? Mia had a soccer game. Oh. Soccer, karate. Oh. Well, and I forgot, actually I forgot my um, camera. I was gonna vlog, but I forgot my camera. And I think it's a good thing because in soccer, Nia's, they got killed. <laughs> it was bad. But um, after that, you eat some lunch at CC's and went to karate and then dropped off the kids at my parents' house. I think my mom realized how tired we were because she's like, you know, why don't you guys go ahead? You guys can go ahead and relax. So. And then I went home and worked out for an hour. Yeah, and I ate food. So now, what are we gonna do? We're gonna go to Target and then eat more food. <laughs> That's what we're gonna do. And hopefully I won't forget to take you along with us this time. Right, honey? Yellow. Okay. Can you guys do this? No, 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 Review. Mine. Review. Yes, I know, it's huge. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'll do it. Because I think you might have gotten a. Hey guys, so we are home now and picked up a few things at Target. I don't know if I mentioned that we were going to Target too, but um, I picked up these. Whoa, fell out. Let's do it this way. Picked up these Stevie's. Oh, I'll just clean those. So they are similar to my other ones, but these have a higher, it's more of a high top. So I picked these up. These are Stevie's, so they're like girl size. They're um, size five, but they fit me, and they're $27.99, so with tax, they came out to $30. And then picked up Ryan's water bottle all the way. Um, basically just for Ania. These were on sale for her sports because they had to return the other ones. So these are a size eight in women's. Yes, my 10-year-old daughter wears a size 8 shoe in women's. So, she's bigger. She has bigger feet than me. So, these were on sale for $9.98, I think. Um, but, yeah, it's just good for her for when she's um, doing her sports. And 
because her cleats were bothering her, we picked up some of these massaging sport Dr. Scholl's. And then, I don't know, before, if I mentioned this, but I went to the doctor, doctor, no, dentist before, a while back, and I really, I really, I really, I really, 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 really had a really deep cavity, which uh, resulted in um, a sensitive tooth. So um, I didn't need to get a root canal or anything, it's just sensitive. So it's been bothering me like when I eat hot and cold, obviously, or I eat in general. So I just picked up some Sensodyne Pro Enamel and see if that helps. I got the gentle whitening because as you can see in the previous clip, I got some yellow teeth. So hopefully this will help. Because yellow teeth, look at this, look at this. Look at my shirt. Who had any teeth? Not good. Not good. So, oh, start. What are you doing there? That's not yours. That's not. That's not your bench. Hi, Budge. What are you doing there? Now, Mr. Budgers, can you say hi to everyone? Look. Who's that? Who's that baby? Oh, someone's calling me. Hey guys, so it's Monday and it's Ania's first volleyball game. I'm thinking so loud. And there's no chairs, so she's number three. She's in the orange socks and the green right there. Right there. Shooting socks! What's your team name? They're known as the Predators. I'm trying to do this flex, but it hurts. Help me. You're still. No! Alright, they're gonna get started. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> go over here. Number three. Hello. Do you want us to get um, the chair in the car? Short. There you go. Nice. 